Hello and welcome to today's episode of 3D Drawing for your Model Railway. Today we're going to expand on using the tools we've already used and then adding in a three-point arc and how to copy within a sketch. Okay, so how are we going to apply these new tools? Well, we're going to draw a drinks vending machine. Right, so the first thing we're going to do is start a new sketch. We're going to use on the bottom plane. We go back to using those center point rectangles we were using in the other lesson. We're going to click to the origin, click on the origin, and we're going to define the size to be six millimeters using the tab to set the other box by seven millimeters. And escape to change back to the normal cursor. Right click, extrude, and change the view to the front face. I'm going to drag that up. I'm thinking we're going to go for about 12 millimetres and click on OK. OK, so we've got a basic rectangle now. So here's where we're going to add in this, this three point arc. So we're going to create a new sketch. We're going to create a, like a dome effect on this front face. So we're going to actually draw it on the top surface. I'm going to go up to create and we're going to go into arc, three point arc here. Okay. So essentially what we're going to do here is we select the first point, I'm going to use the corner, and then we're going to select the other end of where we want the arc to be. So I'm going to say about there, and then we're going to drag it out so that we get the bend that we require, what, we, what, what arc we're looking for. I'm thinking about that looks good to me. Okay, then we're going to press escape, come back to the normal cursor, and we're going to go and change our sketch dimensions. So we're going to select that point, we're going to define the distance from the point to the edge, and we're going to say we want that to be two millimeters. Okay, so the next thing we need to define is the radius of the, the arc that we've created at the front here. So again, click on our sketch dimensions, and we'll click front edge to that edge there, drag it across, and we're going to say we want that distance to be 4.6 because it looks reasonably good. I'll just round it up but just for neatness. Okay, again, escape to go back to the normal cursor. Zoom in a little bit so we can right click and extrude that new plane that we've drawn. And we need that to be all the way down to the bottom. So, again, just for neatness, we'll select that bottom edge so it snaps to it. Click on OK. Now we've got that nice arc you would see on a, a typical vending machine. Okay, so the next thing we want to do is just draw a little hole in the front here where you go and get your drinks can from. So again, we'll create a sketch. We'll use this plane here to sketch from. So we'll select on there. And then we'll select two point rectangle at the top here. And just drag out a little rectangle in there. Okay, so we're going to, again going to use your sketch dimensions. Distance from that corner. To that corner so height wise we're going to say it's going to be two millimeters distance from that corner to that corner distance wise we'll call it 1.5 millimeters that corner to that corner 1.5 millimeters and then the height of the hole we'll say we'll want it to be 1.5 nope, it's done as one double click on there again 1.5 it's probably a bit too big actually it's come down a little bit it's a scale of 1.3 Okay, that looks better. Okay, so again, we, we can't get to that center section here just by hovering. So we'll go over the top, hold down left mouse button, scroll down until we find the profile that we want in the drop down, select it, right click, extrude, and then we can just drag that out to cut it. Again, because it's not going to be very deep here, we're going to use that two sided extrusion. I'm just going to extrude just a little bit into the machine, just by one millimeter or so. Okay, so we've got a little bit of a deeper hole there. Okay, now obviously it's an end gauge. It, it doesn't have to be you know, perfectly detailed there. No, nobody's gonna notice that size. But if you scale this up to four millimeter, maybe even seven millimeter, you may need to go into a little bit more detail about what's inside that hole. Okay, so next thing we're gonna draw is the buttons down the side that you press to select your drink. Okay, so again, we're going new sketch onto that face on the side there. And we're gonna use that two point rectangle again and uh, we'll start about this height here i think okay we're going to define the button as being 0.4 millimeters high 
and 0.6 millimeters. No, go look at 0.8 millimeters long. Okay, so I'm now going to define distance from the bottom corner as four millimeters, and from edge, I'm going to go 0.5 millimeters. Actually, I'm going to go 0.6 millimeters, and that'll put them centered. Okay, so that box is now defined. We're going to want a few more of these boxes to go up the side here. Now, we could do what we did previously. We did the relay cabinets, draw the hinges, and just draw them all independently. But what we're going to do is we're going to copy this element of the sketch. Okay, so to copy an element, we're going to left mouse button click in the top left hand corner, hold that button down, and drag it across the sketch, and you get this orange box. Okay, then we let go of the button. You can see it's highlighted the sketch. We're going to do right click, copy, right click, paste. And you can see now that we've got this little um, cursor box dropped up here. You've got up direction, so we can drag a copy upwards. You can drag it left and right. Okay, using that upwards button, you can do up and down. Okay, you can use this button here to freeform, and you can just drag it wherever you want. Okay, it's not going to line up now that we've done that, so we'll cancel that. Select again and paste again. So we go back to it. We can drag it up again. Okay, and this top bit up here, the little circle, you can use that to angle it. Once you're happy with your position, you can just click on Enter. And then you can sketch dimension the distance. We'll call it 0.2 millimeters between them. And we'll also sketch dimension from side to edge. And again, that's 0.6 millimeters, millimeters, so it's the same as the bottom. Okay, so again, we'll show you how to copy again. So we're going up to the top left here, holding the left mouse button down, left mouse button down drag it across, right click, copy. Now I've got both of them. I can right click paste and I've now got another two same as before I define the distance so define the distance from there to there 0.2 millimeters and that's defined both of them define from edge to edge 0.6, edge to edge, 0.6. So I've now I've got four. Realistically, I'm probably going to want eight buttons there. So the same as before. Drag that button down. Copy. And paste. Pull them up. Okay. And we'll put the position there. Define distance from there to there. 0.2 millimeters and edge to edge 1.6 edge to edge 6 all the way up here to the last one so they're all now fully defined so we're going to extrude them all so we'll hover over them hold them up uh, shift down select in each one Right mouse button, extrude, and then we'll extrude those out 0.3 millimeters. Okay, so now we've got all the little buttons down the side. Okay, and what we'll do now is we'll add a little button at the top here and a slot for you to put the money. So, create a new sketch, two point rectangle again. And then dimensions, 0.3 millimeters from there, 0.3 millimeters on that side. Height, 1.2 millimeters, and we'll do height from there to the top, 0.9 millimeters. Okay, and then we're going to right click. Extrude. We're going to extrude to the same height as the buttons by just clicking on the face, 
click on OK. And then we need to draw a little slot on that face now for the money to go in. So again, we'll just select two point rectangle. Okay, and so if we can hover over the edge now, we can find out what the length of that is. If you forget what it is, you just click on it. And then down in the bottom corner, it's telling us it's 1.4 millimeters. Okay, so if we now define, define the length as 0.4, we now know that we need to define edge to side 0.5 and that will be centered and then bottom edge to the bottom edge 0.3 and height 0.15 and then in, we can right click extrude and drag that back into the machine a little bit to look like a slot click on OK, let's cut that out. Okay, so now we've got our drinks vending machine. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe. If you've got any questions, please leave a comment below. Thanks for watching.